Okay, that's not working like I thought. Or if it is, I'm not seeing you guys and seeing the stream. So hopefully you're seeing me. And um, hopefully you're hearing me too. Oh, yay. Okay. I can tell by watching my mixer audio that audio is going out even though I don't see the stream. So weird to not see myself, but that's okay. <laughs> so I probably cut everyone off and uh, let's start this again. So you guys are going to, this is part of a test to show you something cool and new that we're doing. And uh, let me just pretend we're starting things fresh. Here we go. We try it again. <laughs> it's second time's a charm. So I just want to share with all of you something new that we're doing here. And as you can tell by looking here, what you see doesn't look the same, right? I mean, I still got the same background here and that kind of stuff. But we have this cool new thing. You actually, if you look down at the bottom, right, you're seeing here that we got this cool little logo right over here, right? Which kind of looks like our old logo. And then we have this whole little bar right here. It says the name of the show. And you're able to see all that. It uses a, a, a new to us piece of software called OBS, which doesn't mean anything to most people. And you don't have to worry about remembering that. But what's cool about it is it allows you to take video that you're getting, right? And you can either like record it just like on your computer, or you can actually stream it out to all of you. So you can stream it through, as we're doing now, through Facebook Live, you can stream it through Twitch, you can stream it to YouTube, anything you can imagine. So when we do live streams now, whether it's on Facebook, like you're watching now, right? Or if we happen to do it through YouTube or whatever else, we'll be able to do the live streams so that we have this cool overlay on it. So it makes it look a little more professional than just me, in this case, in front of my awful 1970s wood paneling <laughs> and so forth, right? Makes it look a little more professional and a little more serious, right? Because we've been doing audio for so, so long here at Wargaming Recon. But video, we're newer to, right? And so we're still kind of building this up so that we have it uh, going and improve it for everyone. And with all the changes that are going to be happening here at the Wargaming Recon studio, it also means that we want to up some of this game. So I have to give huge props to Peter Bryant from the Mythwits podcast. Check out mythwits.com or check out their Facebook page where they stream live new episodes every Monday evening. It's always a lot of fun to see. They have all sorts of authors, guests, scientists, game developers. I've been on. I mean, it's just a really good show. You can also listen to the podcast. They put it out on iTunes. You can listen to it at your leisure. But I got to say, the live video show is really where it's at. And they are, like us, part of the TSR Podcast Network. Go to tsrpn.com. So one of the other cool things that we can do is if we're doing it just like, hey, it's just me or maybe like, let's say, Adrian or whomever wanted to do a live stream where it's just them, right, talking to each of you. We get this cool little setup for just one of us. But then there's also other setups for when we have guests on, right? So it's really cool so that it changes how things look. And I'm still kind of working on fine-tuning some of those other things for when we have guests and that kind of stuff. So I'm going to give you a sneak peek. It's very rough, right? Because I'm still working on it. And Peter worked me through the broad strokes. And we really got a lot of settings taken care of. But i got to dial things in a little bit. So just for a sneak peek... You get to see what some of these other things look like. So if we're doing an interview, and you can see I can actually change it over and you're seeing my screen. But one of the cool things, ignore all that crazy stuff in the back, right? One of the cool things is you can see all this like extra uh, overlay stuff. So like you can see at the bottom, there's extra spots for people who are going to be on the show. There are spots for our logo uh, and there's a big window on the right where uh, we can put like images and things like that so uh, if we wanted to have some sort of images in there 
we can have that all set up to go. We can do slideshows with things. So that's kind of cool. But then we can also change it, right? If we had more guests. You can see the logo get smaller and smaller and smaller and so forth. Now, like I said, that was weird looking, right? Because it's not completely set up yet. But we're working on it. It's something that we're going to get going on. And when I do more solo videos, which is something that I do a lot of, because really, there's only a guest usually or, or a co-host if we're doing a podcast, an audio podcast episode, which we can do with this OBS stuff, right? So it's really cool that we have it because we can get it going and then we can have that more professional looking video that then goes on to YouTube and other places. And although we're an audio podcast, so we're focused more on the audio, we're trying to add extra video content. So here's a little bit of extra video content for all of you guys and girls. So the other day I did a Facebook Live video in which I started to do some priming on this. I primed using that GW Technical paint, right? The Citadel paint, which is the black primer. So this has been dry for a little while. And it's just one coat. And of course, I'm not painting it black, right? This is so I can then paint on it so that the paint will stay to it because otherwise it looked like this on the bottom. So you can kind of see that. This is a great emplacement for when you're on the field. It's good for World War II or whatever. And so I can actually go ahead and paint this. It'll be fine for that. And I also want to share something cool with you, which is an update being done here to the Wargaming Recon Studio. I've talked a little bit on our feeds and on, I believe, the audio podcasts. And of course, with our Patreon backers, I've shared this with our Patreon backers. I've taken a lot of video actually for that. But we're doing a big move here because my family's growing, right? Uh, expecting a new child in the beginning of 2019. And that means I'm getting a dedicated space here in my home so that we're able to clean things up a little bit. We've made some enhancements and I'm going to be able to do more video work here, actual live play games on my table. And then you guys can't see, but like back there, back behind you guys, as it were, I'm looking at it, but of course you're looking at me. It's going to be where we're going to be doing podcasts and stuff. So I have more equipment coming in and organizing and everything. But one of the things I really wanted to do, which was going to be super expensive, is I have this light right above me that's actually illuminating me. But it's a shop light, and it's actually just plugged into my wall into an outlet. No switch or anything. So like I got to go over and plug in and unplug stuff, and it's really a pain in the butt. So Amazon was doing this cool thing, and it's a limited time only, $10. You get to pick either a smart light bulb for your smart home or a smart outlet. So I went with a smart outlet. I thought it would be cool to try this out. And if you're not familiar, one of the neat things about smart home stuff is you can control them from anywhere. And for me, this is going to sound like the epitome of laziness. And maybe it is, <laughs> and I'm not apologizing if it is. But one of the things I can do with this, uh, it's called a TP Link by, um, God, I, I can't remember the name of the people who made it. Uh, we should have that right here on my other device. TP Link uh, from Casa, K A S A, here's some instructions for them. Is you plug this into your outlet, and then you can control your outlet with your smartphone. So if I know I'm going to be coming down into the studio, Part of the space is controlled by light switches and we got new light fixtures in and all that kind of stuff with LED light bulbs so it's more energy efficient, great for the environment compared to the older bulbs that people have. Also uses less energy so it saves money, again great for the environment, it's green because it uses less of the fossil fuels and all that kind of stuff. And then with the flick of the switch I can turn on some lights but not back in this part where all these lights are. But what I can do is I can take my smartphone and I can use as you can probably see here I can use my mobile device right here and I've already put the plug in and I can turn it on or off from anywhere in the world by tapping on here so I'm going to turn it off and you're going to see some information about it which is kind of cool I can put it on a schedule for how often I want it on or off. But if I tap on the power button, it went dark in here, right? It's it's much harder to see me. My lighting's terrible because I turned it off. So what I can do is, I'll turn it back on, 
<laughs> and you get the blare of things. But if I know I'm going to be coming down to the studio, right, and uh, I can actually have stuff plugged in that maybe, like, needs a moment to boot up, not like a computer that you're going to want connected all the time, but maybe I have some equipment that, like, I just I need to get it charged, right, get it going. I turn that on. I get the lights on when I come. I flip the switch, come down, ready to rock and roll. Also really handy if I'm kind of running short on time again with a family, with a child, here another one on the way. Time is always on the essence, right? So I can't be making all these trips down to turn lights on, get stuff set up and everything. I need to just be able to dive right into doing a recording for you guys or a podcast or whatever so I can just pull up my smartphone, press that button, and get things going. And of course, you can plug anything into it. Uh, you can put them all over the house. So it's really neat to have this. And again, it's only 10 bucks on Amazon. We're going to have a, a link in the chat and in the description to this product. It's normally, I think, 25 bucks, 24.99. Even for that, I think it's worth it. It's only one outlet. So like it plugs in, it doesn't block any other outlets, but you do need a three prong or a GFCI, CFRI um, outlet, one of those grounded outlets um, for this. So I have a link, it'll be in an Amazon affiliate link for us, but if you pick it up, great. I hope you like it and Amazon will send a little something our way. Well, anyway, everyone, I don't want to take any more of your time. I just want to thank you for watching and for hearing about what's going on here at Wargaming Recon Central. And I hope you enjoyed seeing how things are progressing with our emplacement. I'm going to be doing some more work, actually painting this thing up. It should paint up pretty quickly. And, of course, more work with the wet palettes. And i got to say, after I did that wet palette video, actually, I realized I was like, I don't have enough wet palettes. Because I had the Everlasting Wet Palette, I had the P3 one, and the homemade. I'm like, I should have four, right? What's the fourth one? Where did it go? It's the Masterson Stay Wet Palette that I bought on Amazon. Again, I'll have a link to that um, as well. And I've, I've got to pull it out and set it up. So I hope people will excuse me, but I'm sending that up after the fact and add in video footage of it. And we'll get that going and have that be part of the testing. It's only been a few days difference from when we set everything else up. So I think you will agree that's okay. And I just want to say thank you again for watching, for being so supportive of the show and what we're building here at Wargaming Recon. It's not only an audio podcast, but we're really expanding into being more multimedia and covering more, more, just more, right? And uh, doing all of that kind of stuff. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, please share with your friends, like the video, recommend it, you know, all those things that I'm supposed to tell you to do. <laughs> Subscribe to the podcast, share, hit the bell icon on YouTube to get notifications, all that kind of stuff, right? But you guys know all about that. As always, you can reach us here on our Facebook page. Happy to respond as quickly as possible. I think Facebook right now says we respond within 15 minutes, which is really cool. You can send an email to Jonathan at WargamingRecon.com. Leave us a review and rate us on iTunes or Stitcher or wherever you listen to the podcast. So many different great ways to listen to audio podcasts these days. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, WargamingRecon.com slash YouTube. Check out The Mythwits. Check out TSRPN. Check out Game School, which is a new podcast from TSR that's going to be coming out really soon. A lot of great shows on the network, a lot of great things going on here, all to give you great gaming content, whether it's tabletop gaming, electronic, whether it's RPGs, board games, whatever, we're bringing it all to you. And we also have a really cool bunch of content that shows up on TSR's website, Multiverse. It's a enterprise that I used to write for, I've kind of had to take a step back from it, but there's really good stuff on there as well. So you can check all that out, see all the things, do all the stuff. We're on the Twitter, the Facebook, you know it. There we are. Have a great night, evening, day, morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. And as always, you know the drill. Keep on gaming!